in third problem they said that find two consecutive positive integers whose sum of whose squares is 613 so we don't know the consecutive integers if we add their squares we should get 613 so let the let a positive integer let a positive integer b x the next then the next or second integer then the second integer b x plus 1 the next by the problem they said that by problem sum of the sum of whose squares is 613 so by problem sum of their squares is 613 so let us do the square and adding their squares is equals to 613 so x square is x square if you see it is in the formula and it is in the form of a plus b whole square so a square plus 2ab plus b square that is 1 square 6 1 3 next x square how many x squares are there 2 x squares plus 2 ones are 2 so 2x plus 1 square is 1 is equals to 613 613 comes here so it will become negative so 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 613 is equals to 0 next 2x square plus 2x minus 612 is equals to 0 the next we can take out 2 common so 2 is getting common x square plus x minus 2 30 is a 60 1 is left so 12 to 6 is a 12 is equals to 0 2 goes in the denominator of 0 so it will be 0 0 by anything 0 so x square plus x minus 3 not 6 is equals to 0 now it is a quadratic equation we will find out the factors so for finding the factors let us take out the factors of 360 3 not 6 so 2 15 is up 30 2 3 is a 6 the next 3 5 is a 15 3 1 is a 3 3 1 is a 3 2 is left 3 7 is a 21 17 1 is a 17 so here 2 3 is a 6 6 3 is a 18 18 minus 17 we are getting this 1 18 minus 17 we are getting 1 so we, we should get the middle value so here we can take x square plus 18x plus sorry minus 17x minus 3 not 6 is equals to 0 next x can be taken out as a common so x plus 18 is left minus 17 is common x plus 18 is equals to 0 x plus 18 x plus 18 is common so x plus 18 is common the next x minus 17 is left is equals to 0 here once we will take the 0 with along with x plus 18 so x plus 18 is equals to 0 and we will take x minus 17 is equals to 0 x minus 17 is equals to 0 now send this 18 to that side so it will be x is equals to minus 18 or x is equals to this will become positive so x is equals to 17 here we have to note that they have asked for positive integers so we should not take minus negative values so we have to take 17 so therefore the required integers are x is equals to 17 and the next integer is x plus 1 that is 17 plus 1 so 17 plus 1 is 18 